What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as the Vegas Golden Knights. And uh, picking up where we left off here at the deadline, 30, 28, and 6. If we want a shot at the playoffs, we need to go on a tear. We're only one point out of a wild card spot, but you got to think that wild card spot is pretty tenuous at 67 points at this point in the season. I'd say it's going to be a very close race here. So we're looking at that, 67 points, 64. Yeah, see, so... You know what? Yeah, it's not too bad. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Well, we actually have an advantage. Looks like the Central's not as strong, but that doesn't mean they can't go on a tear here. You know, we're ahead of all those other Central Division teams, but we still need to get past Los Angeles. That's the big one. We got to get past them. We got to we got to somehow get ourselves into this wild card slot here. We're in a pretty tough division by the looks of it. At least it's pretty even around yeah, it's not as obviously Colorado's dominating, but like here, it's like a pretty tight race is what I mean. So we have the opportunity to get up there. We definitely do. And uh, with that big trade shakeup, hopefully that helps. And I'm uh, looking at your guys' comments and I made a couple other changes. And I did want to address something that a, a couple people pointed or uh, were worried about that I had Skinner in net or something like that. So every time we've checked, it has been funny because it has said Skinner was in net. But that's because the automated goalie rotations, it'll, it'll, if he's it, going to play the next game, it'll have him in here. But you got, what you got to do is look at games played. 17 games played for Skinner as opposed to 51 for Mrazic. So yes, Mrazic is still the starter. Even if I put this guy right here at the beginning of the season, it would still give Mrazic more games played because that's how the goalie uh, automated goalie rotations will work it'll favor the guy who's better and they'll play him more so even if you wanted to start like a 60 overall but you had like an 80 overall it'll start the 80 overall more so yeah um that's how the automated goalie rotations works anyway so i've made a couple um minor changes here we're leaving the offensive core the way it is hopefully hopefully the second line get going Man, i was considering trading kane and bringing up like someone like who was younger and stuff like that and like you know trading for one of those guys who's gonna be like those that Dublowitz guy or someone similar, but again, that just it didn't make a lot of sense. We could probably make it go through, but to me, it almost felt a little too gamey. I mean, we got the Padawan and we also got Van Ran in pretty big trade deals, like a, what a year, like two years ago, and like I don't know, felt uh, to me it felt like uh, yeah, I could get him, but it kind of feels gamey. We are we also got this Hartnell guy we just drafted. Like we have we have a lot of pieces, man. It's just like. It's the, the, the rebuilds in this game, if you're going with any sort of expansion team, are just going to take longer for the most part. So I've been kind of, you know, b basing my pace off of past, you know, rebuilds I've done where I can usually become a playoff team and after three years pretty, pretty easily. And then, you know, win a cup after about six or seven. And um, that's just, you know, it can't, we can't really be basing it on that anymore, uh, at least for me. I can't really be basing it on that unless I make, you know, go out of my way to go crazy and pick up every freaking person I could do, which uh, I know some people don't mind that. Other people do. I try to find a happy little balance. So yeah, people were already pissed that I got Padawan and Van Ran. And so, yeah, I'm not going to go for Dublowitz this time or anything like that. So yeah. All right. Anyway, that just uh, addressing all that kind of stuff. But we are we are can wait on is all we have a lot of leads here down here growing pretty well. Oh yeah, someone said to move Turikov up to the top line instead of what Suzuki or something like that. That might might be an alright. But he has grown really well here. Oh no, so it's Chistov. Yeah, moving up Chistov or something like that. Um instead of Jacobson or something. I don't know. I don't know. I think I think what I think they're working the way they are right now. Yeah, I think I think the lines are kind of just working. I don't know, who knows. Maybe, maybe they would be better, but offensively, Jacobson's a hell of a lot better. Well, his awareness is passing is not as good, but he has a tremendous shot and he's with Suzuki. Who's the passer basically. So, well, he's not really even that good. Turkov would actually be better on that line. Yeah. Turkov actually would be better on that line. So let me move him there. Move Suzuki back down. Yeah, Turkov actually would be better just because of the more offense. And that might help Jacobson out, might help the whole team out if we did that anyway. I wasn't even supposed to look at any of that. Anyway, so here's the change I made. I listened to you guys put Van Ran up onto the top pairing with Yossi. We'll see if that works. We need more offense. We're going to try to get that first line going with this. Theodore back into his role with the Hartnell. I'm not, I was thinking about making a trade for that big top two guy and moving out Theodore, but... Uh... I don't know. Someone's saying because of morale, he should be an 83. I don't think so. I mean, his morale's fine. Uh, he's just been an 81. Uh, I, I guess I can hold on to him, but I'm still... It was a big commitment. We'll see if we can make the playoffs with this minor change. We're going to try to keep things internal since we did make a pretty damn big trade. We're going to see how that would work. 
and try to see if we can get a bunch of offense going by putting um, Van Ran onto that top pairing. And yeah, we'll see. Let's see, and we're going to see Spezza if he's just better in here. And you know what? Maybe maybe him instead of Pavs. Yeah, maybe him instead of Pavs on the power play. He's just... Well, they're actually pretty similar offensively. He's got the better shot. Hold on. They're pretty similar offensively. Pavs does have the better... Yeah, they are... Like, if you look at their offensive stats, like, Pavs has only got one less in each category. Whereas... And with a better shot, technically. Well, it's a pretty similar shot. Yeah, yeah it's very similar. They're incredibly similar players, to be honest, but... I think I'll keep Pavs there for now. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just keep him there for now. We'll see. Although, hold on. What's that? What's that looking like? Playmaker, Sniper, two-way forward. Yeah, we'll keep it like this for now. Zadina on the point. Hartnell as well. Yeah. Although, maybe if I want to boost things up, yeah, this guy is a good option there. But maybe I need to go to Branstrom. Because Branstrom is just a lot better offensively. Let's try it. Let's try to just boost everything up. Let's try it. So it sucks having to take that guy out, I know. But I got to go with the the better offensive player. 95 and 90. You can't ignore that. The other guy was mid-80s. He seemed almost more like a two-way guy, I believe, when we were looking at him. So that's, yeah, Hartnell. Plus, he's already in his role. Yeah, he, he does seem like more of a two-way guy. So whatever. We're going to try Branstrom in there now instead. We're trying to just get some kind of fire going here. So... Let's see if it'll work. I don't know if we'll make the playoffs here. We're very close. We're right there. If we could just go on a tear, that's all we really need. Really. It's it's all we need is to have a good stretch of games here. So basically, let's try it. That's all I can say. I'm not I, I was cons I was really considering making some trades. I might make a couple like trades to like ship off some garbage and stuff like that. And just like, you know, hedge our bets, get some extra picks and stuff because it's kind of looking like we, if we don't make the playoffs, I am maybe going to want to... We have a lot... Oh, my God. We already have quite a few picks, to be honest. <laughs> we already have quite a lot. Yeah, we already do have quite a lot. We don't have another first. If I could trade away a bunch of junk for someone's first, that would be awesome. I highly doubt it, but I'll try. Well, let me see a bunch of junk. Who, who wants some junk here? Like all these guys. All these bottom six craps. I can't get a first for any of those, but I'd be willing to trade a lot. Like, first of all, let's trade the older guys. Like the 19 uh 20 like stuff like that who we know is not going to be anything uh let's see 20 right there 19 a couple 19s i think that's pretty much it though for the unsigned ones uh no we got a few others here ooh, ooh 20 yeah i, I gotta i gotta let this guy go actually because if i didn't sign him by this point i don't yeah i'm not gonna i might have to do a couple of these guys yeah, we'll do a couple of them. Because really, if I'm not signing them by this point, they're not really going to pan out. Like, yeah. A couple of these red top sixes too. Like, I kind of would have to free up space and put them on there immediately, you know. But, I mean, I think some of them were, I don't know. I, I can't sign everyone, basically. So, let's see if any team wants any of these guys. Someone who's listed as a champion. There we go. Could I get your first? They don't have a first, son of a bitch. Can I get next year's first? Oh, yes. Okay, let's find another champion who has a first. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we can get a first here. Son of a bitch, give me firsts. Where are your firsts at, noobs? <laughs> None of them have firsts. No, who's collecting firsts? You asshole, you're taking them for all the champions. Oh, there's no more champ. Oh, there's one more. Dallas, yeah, right. Ah, oh, they don't have a first either, son. All right, well, I could probably get a first from other people. Yeah, these guys are doing really... They're only listed as contenders, so it's... Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on. It's going to have more value, though. Yeah, no, it's actually... Yeah, because... But I could... Yeah, yeah. I'll have to go to uh, these guys. Yeah, I could probably get Colorado's first here. I'd say that. I, I know it's a bunch of junk. The, the value says I could probably get more. I don't think I can get more, but I'll try anyway. I'll try to get to third or something like that. I don't think it'll work, but I'm trying it anyway. Yeah, um, doesn't match a block. The is kind of far off. Let's try to get some other stuff. They have a couple sevens. I'll take some sevens. Take a six, too. Let's see if that'll go through for all this uh, later stuff. Nope. Okay. Uh, remove the... Uh, remove that seven. Doesn't meet the trade block. Remove the six. I'll just take a... F no. Yeah, I'll take a first and a seven for all I care. No, they, I, don't, I don't think I can get a first just because... Yeah. Quite far off in value, they say. That sucks. 
Well, I don't think I can get a first. I wanted to, but I don't think I'll be able to. Although, if I keep finding guys, they don't have a first. <laughs> I'm just trying to find guys like really good records that I can maybe somehow squeeze a first out of. I just don't think it'll happen. Yeah, this is way too much value. Unless they like just really want to get rid of it. But if the other guy was saying, yeah, that I'm not close in value, I highly doubt I'll be able to get that one. But I'm trying everything. Oh, they have a couple. They have Toronto's. Maybe they want to get rid of Toronto's here. Damn it. No. Okay. I don't think we're going to get a first. I was really hoping I could, but I don't think I'll be able to. Unless I threw in some of those other ones. Like some of the red top sixes here. Like if I removed a guy and threw in something even better. Like, hold on. I could probably get a first if I threw in something even better. If I removed one of those, like, bottom six guys. Like, let's see. Like, something from over here. Like, I did all those, like, top nines. I could do another to the top nine. Yeah, I'll actually prefer throwing in the other top nine as ahead of the red top sixes at first if I can. So, hold on. Let me get that. Uh, let me see if I can get. Let me get. I think they're both really similar value. But let's pick up the guys from our division. Because we might have a chance to knock them out or something. There we go. Oh, my God. Oh, it's a seat. Shit, I could have got more. Whatever. I still got a first for a bunch of guys I'm not going to use. So, I'll take it. Oh, uh, that. <laughs> my bad, though. I guess I could have gotten more for that. But, whatever. We still got a first, which is kind of crazy. That might turn into something decent. It's for a bunch of junk that I'm not going to use. So, I really don't care. Uh, at this point, again, just look for the, uh, no, hold on to Tulipov. Or I don't think I'm playing him. Maybe I want to move him out now. Yeah, I'm definitely not. If I am playing him, I'll put someone else in there. Let's, yeah, let's add Tulipov into this deal. And then maybe some more of those. Eh. I can hold on to the 18-year-olds because they still, they, they still have guaranteed another deal before they'll, like, come up to be released. So that's why I do that. Like, I can hold on. I can bank them, basically. Uh, so I might put in the 19-year-old. What was this guy? Power for 19, righty. Oh, yeah, sniper or playmaker. Yeah, I'd rather get rid of the power forward because we have elite power forwards. We got a few power forwards at this point. So let's do that. Anything else I can maybe squeeze out here? I might want to get rid of some of the other ones. Red top nines, a 19. Yeah, a couple 19. I'll get rid of Nestrov. Throw Nestrov in there. Might get rid of that North Korean too. I'm ne probably never going to sign him. That's just most likely not going to happen. I don't think I'm ever going to sign this guy. As cool, it is, as cool as he is, no one can replace Postman. Oh, he's got really good defensive stat shit. Maybe I do want to just sign him and just have him scratch. I don't even care. Well, whatever. Who else? Who else? And is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, well, how, what's that value getting me? I might even throw in one of those other red top sixes here. You know what? Actually, before I do that, let me throw in some of those other garbage. Like, not gonna throw in Jesus. We'll throw in Valette. Uh, yeah, I know they're 18, but I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna pick up again and a lot more of this craps too. So let's throw in another red top nine in here. Or actually, no. Let's throw in that dude. All right. So a bunch of that. I don't think I'll be able to get a first for this, but I'm I'm gonna try anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get both these firsts off these guys. I highly doubt it, but I'm doing it anyway. Too many players. Oh yeah, Tulipov is actually signed. That's right. Okay, so remove him. Not even in the right ballpark, they say. Screw you. All right, let's see. Anything else? Like I'll throw in some other bull crap. Yeah, just throw that in. I don't know. Who cares? Yeah, no, not even resembling anything. So I don't I don't think I have any more of those unsigned top nines, do I? I would throw in, I would throw another in. I don't care what he is listed as. I have a lot of top nines. That ones I signed too. I don't think I do. No. Nope. All right. So it'll have to be another like red top six, which I could do. With all the red elites I have, I would honestly do it for another first. Hmm. No, I wouldn't. Not for another first. No. Just because there's no guarantee it's gonna be amazing. Oh, hello. Someone wants one of these guys. They don't have a first though, do they? But I'll take a second or something. I'll just take value, like any kind of value. Like give me a second and a third or something like that. Probably easily get that. Maybe try to get a fourth. Probably not. I'm probably overestimating, but I'm still gonna try. Value on the table's too far off. Remove the fourth. Yeah, okay. So we still got a second and a third for all that stuff. So yeah, I'm just freeing up some space, getting some extra stuff, just as you know just in case we miss the playoffs we want to have to draft heavily again we'll see all right but anyway those will be the trades we make 
we had our big big trade came a few weeks before the deadline but that was uh that was right there was uh just uh freeing up some space trying trying to hedge our bets here but here we go we're gonna try these new lines out see if we could somehow make it into the playoffs here we're only one point out of that wild card spot so bear that in mind we're only one point out of that wild card who oh, the fuck's calling me all right sorry about that i actually had to take that that was my work anyway so uh what the fuck yeah we're basically just gonna start simming here and we're like i said only one point out of a playoff spot we need to beat the divisional teams when we come across them, but we need to steal points. Like, and when we face the East, we need to get at least one point out of these games. Oilers, big, big game, big game. Like, any sort of division. We just need to beat. This last game against LA could be huge. Depending. Depending. All right, so we're going to sim probably little bits at a time. Or just go balls to the wall, and I'll stop it if I need to. Yeah, I'll stop it. You know what? I'm going to stop before these two games, though, because that could be big against LA. I know we're right there with them. We'll see what happens. But past the deadline, here we go. Come on now, Vegas. Come on. We need to start. Ah, big loss right there. We get a win. Okay, come on, guys. Win win some games here. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't, it doesn't look like it. We have to go on a tear, like I said. And it's not really looking like we are going to do that. So, might miss the playoffs here. I tried to make it work here, but it's not looking great. Tried those line changes and stuff. No, no, we're losing too much. We're still losing too much. We need to go on fat tears. See, we just win, lose, win, lose. We can't do that. We had to go on a tear. We really, no, it's, no, I, I say we're not a playoff team and it sucks, but whatever, dude. Like I'm trying my best. Like what else can I do? I put a great fucking team on the ice, man. It's their fault at this point for not producing. So whatever. Come on, win against Edmonton. There we go. Couple big wins. Now just string a bunch together. There we go. Wait a sec. Ah, but you guys lose again. Stop that. All right, hold on a sec. How close are we? 39, 35, and 6. We got this big game against... Ooh, I think we're still very close to those guys. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, we have it right now. We have it by one point. We have it by one point. We're so fortunate that the divisions are weird and the central's so skewed. Okay, we have it by one point right now. That's huge. We have it by one point. All right, let's get up to the game against LA. I might have to real-time sim that, depending. Come on, beat Winnipeg. This is a huge game. We need a win. There we go. That's a huge fucking win right there. And I think LA just lost. I we, Yeah, we just qualified. All right, we just... Wow. Just qualified for the playoffs with that game. So here we go. Okay. Skin of our teeth, man. Skin of our freaking teeth. Wow, and we beat them too, so we had a great end of the season. That was the stretch that I was looking for. We needed a bit earlier, but fortunately for us, the other teams played pretty average as well. But you don't like to be in that position. You don't like to bank your success on other teams, and that's... Oops, 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 stop simulation. So, okay, here we go. Vancouver did make it, but we have a chance to knock them out in the first round and make their pick. Uh, did we get their pick or Toronto's? I think we got their pick. I can't remember. We have a chance to make that pick even better. <laughs> That's uh, pretty cool. Let me see. Where was I going? Right here. Okay, let's do defense for a week. Yeah. Okay, so anyway. Yes, yes. Stop simulation. All right, so we're going to be facing Vancouver in the first round. But wow, we just barely scraped by into the playoffs right there. Barely did it. Oof. Rough stuff right there. That was, uh, that was scary. What can I say? <laughs> I'm glad we made it, but we made it in the playoffs with 88 points. That's pretty... Yeah, that's pretty generous, to be honest. Ugh, goals four per game, 2.73. Goals against, 2.73. Yeah, we were just very average. Power play didn't really get any better. Penalty kill, ugh. Our special teams, man. Should be better, in my opinion, with how good of players we have. I'll have to take a look at that, but whatever. Uh, away record was shit. Home record was okay. Last 10, 7-3-0. Oh, that's what got us into the playoffs right there. It was our last 10. LA fell off, luckily. And every yeah. Luckily for us, LA fell off, man. So... We made it by the skin of our teeth, but we made it, man. Yeah, Vancouver did not even come close to falling. They, they went on a tear at the end there, didn't they? Uh, not as much as they did, but yeah. I, I mean, it was going to be hard for us to know. I mean, we can knock them out of the playoffs. That would be awesome because that would give us a better pick. I think we got theirs. I don't think we got Toronto's. Anyway, that would help us a lot. I don't even, like, I, that's all I want to do is knock them out of the playoffs so we get a better pick or something like that. But yeah, anyway, um, let's check out the personal stats here, Roman Yossi. Let our entire team, you know, the Padawan still got another 60 plus point season, 20 goal season, 40 assist season. He's still doing fine, man. He just needs better. Yeah. Mantha. Hmm. 
Could have used a lot more out of Mantha, to be honest. Now, someone was saying you need to make sure he's taking over 200 shots a season. Well, he is. His shooting percentage isn't that good. Um, yeah. So, he did, he's, he's taking the shots. He just didn't get a lot of goals. What can you say? Uh, Venberg, I'm not too sure where we picked him out at. But I know he wasn't doing too good. So, he still got a 50-point season. Pavelski doesn't count. Uh, Zadina didn't quite get to 50 goals. But he got, or sorry, 50 points. But he got 20 goals. So, I'm happy with that. Kane didn't quite get 20 goals. So, I'm unhappy. Yep. Uh, Van Rand did pretty good. Oh, he's 85 now. All right, so he's 85. I guess moving him up didn't really affect him. I actually started helping him grow, I guess. So that's good. That's good for him, man. We needed that. Uh, Cody Glass. Eh, he's still 79. You can... Brandstrom, just 24 assists. <laughs> pretty good for a rookie season, though. <laughs> pretty good, Brandstrom. Uh, Theodore, still a plus player, even when we moved him off that line. So that's nice. Um, Duke Spezza, these guys were all horrible minuses and stuff like that, yeah. I don't know if we play. it seems like we did play better with Spezza over Godin or whoever I had up there, so, keep him. Uh, Marasov, yeah, three points, minus four. Alright, anyway, how'd the tendies do? Yeah, could've used, could've used more out of Mrazic for sure, but you know what? He should be alright, hopefully. Uh, Skinner didn't do... Yeah, he did pretty bad, actually, yeah. Uh, he didn't give me the points I wanted. His stats weren't great, so not the greatest debut for him, but whatever, hopefully he grew. Hopefully he grew. All right, and uh, we'll check out the AHL as well since we're at the end of the season. Oops, oops, oops. I didn't mean to go to rookie goalies. There we are. All skaters. Jacobson led in points with 84. He's a 76 now, so he is still growing 84 points. Man, he was only at like 60-something, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, putting that other guy on the line, I think, helped him out a shit ton. Well, I don't know if it did. Because he's only got 35 points, but uh, who knows. Chis Ooh, Chistos is 77 now. There we go. Uh, Suzuki, 77 as well, so he jumped up. He's listed as depth now. Interesting. So I might call this guy up if there's injuries. Yeah, I might have to call that. He's not amazing defensively, though, to be honest, but whatever. Uh, Bitten, also, well, he's always listed as depth. Oh, that's a guy I was supposed to probably bring up, huh? Whatever. <laughs> Whoops! Oh, yeah, I think he was listed as depth. I could have brought him up. You know what? Whatever. Playoffs were the, were the top priority. Uh, Neil Kynan. Lauko is now 71. That's good. He grew a bit more. Ooh, Doherty. Doherty. I don't remember him being there. Yeah. All right. Um, Nimalainen, he definitely grew. Still is his minor top two, though. I don't care. Uh, McLeod. Hey, Shovel Dave. Didn't grow too much more, but whatever. 65 is okay. Whitney, did he grow any more? Yeah. He started... I think he started below, or at 60. I can't remember. Whatever. I'll check the growth after now. Oh, my goodness. Gravel. What a tremendous season you had. Kondratiev. Yeah, not great. But whatever. He didn't really grow either. That sucks. Better grow in the offseason, noob. We need you. <laughs> we need you to become elite for us. Don't be busting. I know I got you in the seventh round, but still. Become elite. Anyway, yeah. Gravel had a tremendous season. Anyways... Let's see, uh, yeah, let's, uh, check out the progress reports now, and then I'll check out the entire league stats. Come on. All right. See the progress reports. I think Padawan might have grown. No, he's got the same amount of growth. Doesn't matter. He's already 92, you know. Uh, Shippashov keeps getting that statistical and morale growth. He's just being a great player for us. Hartnell, yeah, he grew quite, quite a bit, man, but, uh, yeah. Cool with it. Okay, uh, Theodore. Yeah, statistical decline. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, Pavelski, probably decline. Uh, yeah, natural decline. Uh, the Padawan. I think that's a little, yeah, a little bit to his face sauce, but mostly to statistical growth for this year. Yossi, probably all statistical. Uh, Van Ran grew. Okay, so that's good. We needed him to grow. Hand eye got better. Offense awareness got better. Wrist shot accuracy got better. Defense awareness got better. Good. Cause that, yeah, that's great. Cause he's lacking on that a bit. Endurance got better. So not a crazy amount of growth, but still growth. And he still got better and he's still only 21. So GG man. And then uh, Branstrom got a little bit of growth. Not much, but he still grew. He still grew, man. I still think he's going to get to top four. He's still only 22. So perfect. If you get a top four, this guy's be filthy in the top four. In the top six, he can't have that much of an impact, but he's got 24 assists in that top six. Sure, I did put him on the power play towards the end. Didn't seem to help that much, so I might have to reevaluate my power play, but what real? I might have to split up, you know, put Shippishoff down, move someone up. Like, I might have to split it up like that. 
So I might consider doing that. Uh, Zadina didn't really grow. You got offense awareness. Well, that's good. Got his offense awareness up. We needed that, actually. And what else did he get? Uh, one point to strength. But whatever. Offense awareness went up. We He actually really needed that. So I'm cool with it. He's getting better. All right. Um, Marasov only got one point of growth to his shot blocking. <laughs> whatever. If he, he probably can grow in the offseason. I'm hoping to, like I said, I, this guy, all he really needs to get up to is top four for me. That's all I really need out of this guy. Cause look his defensive stats are absolutely filthy. 88, 8, 96 and 89. Come on. That's gross. Spets have probably declined. All right. Anyway, um, into the system, Zuzan, my goodness from 56 to 67. Great growth from him. We can see where it's all coming from. All right. Nice shot defense. His awareness still needs to get up there, but, uh, it's not doing, it's not doing bad. Uh, skating, good. Oh my god, his body checking shot up there. That's crazy. Good growth from him. Yeah, Devin Thompson, though. I think he grew... Was he at 70 before? I don't know. Who knows? But Jesus, look at this. Look at this growth from him. Just an insane amount of offensive awareness he got. It's pretty well lined up with his passing, too. A bit over it. Uh, his shot was getting better. I love how even his shot is. Usually with power forwards, you see a lot of power and less accuracy. But this guy could be something. Uh, defensively, yeah, it's that's... Yeah, actually for a power forward, it's a bit on the lower side, but still, if he becomes an offensive threat, it's less needed. Oh my God, he's a he's, he's so fast. Look at that. That's crazy. That's just insane. I haven't seen this. I don't know. Did we even see that with Chistoff? I think this is even more than Chistoff have. Oh man. Crazy growth from Tom's, uh, yeah, what's his name? Turkov grew a lot as well. I mean, he grew even more technically than Thompson and he kept going. All right. So here we go awareness is good as is that passing that's awesome wow that shot is really good that's oh it's even too i love it uh def oh my god his defense is good too this guy's gonna be an all-around player good skater uh pretty not very aggressive and not very physical but uh yeah he doesn't have high discipline so that's actually a good thing that he's not too physical because that means he won't take a shit ton of penalties that's good uh dave Chappelle. Decent stats. He got some decent growth. Awareness matching up with his passing pretty well. Shooting getting up there. He's got a better slap shot than he does anything else. That's all right. Uh, defensively getting up there. He's not that quick of a skater yet, but hopefully that grows a bit more. Okay, Brunette. Not a ton of growth from him. Probably like low numbers everywhere, but it's still still worth taking a look at. Yeah, still worth taking a look at. All right, not too bad. Malosh got quite a bit of growth. Not a huge, huge amount, but he's only top six. And, uh, yeah, offense awareness, matching. Oh, his passing's way above it. His offense awareness needs to catch up a bit. His shot's pretty good, though, pretty even. Defensively, good skater. All right. Uh, Neil Kynan got enough growth, I'd say, from where he was playing. Yeah, I mean, we got enough growth from everyone, really. It's just, ooh, we got a lot of growth in his strength. Uh, JC Friesen, not a huge amount of growth, but that's okay. He's in the juniors. He's still got some time to play there. Oh, yeah, nice. Uh, Whitney, not a whole lot of growth, but he got a, a really spread out. Yeah, he got a lot of spread out growth, which ain't bad. Uh, McLeod, he, uh, he grew a bit this year. Not a lot, but yeah, still a decent amount. Uh, Suzuki. Yeah, same thing. He's at 77 now. Yeah, it's got. Yeah, I was gonna say some of that's got to be morale. Yeah, for sure. But hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, Tyrone McKinnon, he did okay. Not a lot, a lot of growth. But hey, how much do we need? What do I expect out of everyone? Parsons grew quite well. No, not as much as I thought he would. But he got up to 70. So that's that's a big milestone. Uh, Gravel, that's actually more growth than I've seen in a goalie for a while. Got morale growth as well because he's done so good. Chief stuff. Not as much growth as he used to get, but he's still working his way up. He's 77 overall, man. Still working up. And Kondratiev did get growth. Good. He did get 10 points of growth. That's quite a bit for only playing 20 games. So that's good news. So he should get a nice offseason boost, and I, I think. Oh, that Nestrov guy grew. Didn't I trade him or did I hold on to him? He grew without being signed. That's nice. Uh so did that so did this Robertson guy. Cuff did as well, so yeah. Cuff got growth without being signed. So they can grow without being signed. It's just definitely more rare in this game. Uh, Beckett, not a, not too much growth, but it's all right. Weidman, he also grew a bit. Bill O'Reilly grew a bit too. 
So that's good. They do kind of grow without being signed. Not as much as they, they would if being signed, I think. So bear that in mind. Uh, bets, yeah. Yeah, some of our... Yeah, they do grow slightly, but not... Yeah, I mean, if you played them, they'd grow a shit ton more. Anyway, like, if you have them signed, I'm pre I mean, it's... I still have a relatively small sample size compared to the year, but it seems like if you sign them, they just grow a shit ton better in this game. Which is... It does make sense, but it's, it's harder to, you know, leave guys off. <laughs> but I think that's the give and take. You get a lot more better guys throughout the draft. Well, now you have to be a bit more careful about who you choose to sign. So I think that's a tr it's a it's a it's a fair trade off, man. It's definitely a fair trade off. You can't just leave guys unsigned and they grow like weeds. Like, <laughs> but whatever. Anyways, that takes care of that. Let's go back check around the league. I still say that's incredible growth. I mean, what can what else can you say? That is incredible growth. Okay, around the league here. Yossi led our entire team in points. That's hilarious as a defenseman. Okay, Tyler Sagan, 97-point season, 47 goals, 50 assists. Patrick Kane, a 50-goal season with 96 points total. I think he's going to be the, the new goal scorer here. Castle Malkin, Taze, where's, where's McJesus? Oh, no, seriously, where's McJesus? I had to have missed him, right? Oh, my God, 72-point season for McDavid. Okay. Uh... The, the year this guy's not a point of game player. I mean, I guess with that contract now at this point. Yeah, <laughs> I guess, yeah. Don't have enough guys around him to finish. All right, anyway, goal leader. Ovechkin's still with 51. He still ekes by. He got like 17 less points than Kane, but still wins. <laughs> when are you heading to the KHL? Okay, Um, who is the assist leader? Backstrom figures. Uh, he's actually tied with Kessel. And Taves coming in a close uh, t second after these guys tied for first. All right, plus minus leader. Pacioretty by a long shot, plus 51. Oh, he's on the Stars, that's right. Craziness, Stars got really good. Power play goal leader, Stamkos with 18. Clayton Keller, though. Ooh, he got really good. All right, uh, power play points. Uh, Malkin and Niederreiter tied. Okay, who's the most clutch? Stamkos, yeah, where's, where's Ovi, dude? Like, he had all those goals, he just wasn't not, not clutch. <laughs> he's just scoring. Yeah, it makes sense, just scoring when he feels like it. All right, shooting percentage. Pasternak had pretty good, but Patrick Kane had over 100 more shots, only less than 1%. I'd say I'd give that to Kane. Okay, let's see. Hits and fights I'll do for the entire league. Okay, let's check on defenseman. Who's winning that Norris? Looks like Barry will. Oh, yeah, by far. Barry, by far. Provorov tried to make a case, but uh, Barry, I mean... Well, he was on a good team. You got to bear that in mind. Let's see. Let's see the more uh, in-depth stats here. Less hits, less takeaways, more giveaways. Mm -hmm. That's close. That's close. I would text. I would in this situation. I give it to Provorov. You have to bear in mind that plus minus is a bit skewed because Avalanche were on fire this year, and Provorov. I don't think the Flyers were that amazing. So. I don't know. That's a close race. I would personally give it to Provorov just because he's better defensively, but I know they just favor stats and stuff. So whatever. Okay. Uh, yeah, good for good for you guys. Let's check out goalies now. Then we'll do the sortie thingy. Have to click it like ten times, which is dumb, but whatever. Come on, come on. Let's do sixty games played minimum. And sort by save percentage. Vasilevsky. Holy crap. He's looking like the front runner. 70 games played. Okay, Vesna right there. Do I even have to look at everyone else? I will, but I don't think I do. Vasquez, what the fuck? Subban, really? Oh my god, he got to... How do you get to 80? Oh, rip. <laughs> Shenanigans. How the hell do you get to 89? Whatever. Okay, Um. yeah, great season from Vasilevsky. Subban's the runner-up. Uh, only one less game play. That's insane. Uh, Anderson, pretty good with uh, 63 games played, but yeah. Oh, Vasilevsky hands down, I'm pretty sure. Yep, Vasilevsky hands down, winning that Vesna. Incredible. Okay, can I just go to all skaters and it switches back to games played thing? Uh, nope. Okay, whatever. I don't care. Okay, let's check it out. Who's the hit leader? Who led the league in hits? Timo time! All right, Timo time. 209 hits. <laughs> you had a great game last night, too. All right, 209 hits. Good on you. Okay, uh, fights. Who led the league in fights? 
Oh my god, this Dotson guy again. Borowick. <laughs> Borowick, he just looks like he fights too much, too. Like, Dotson doesn't look like... I mean, he kind of... He'll, he'll, like, he looks like a he'll scrap, man. He looks like a dude, like a tough guy from, like, New York or Philly. He's going to just drop him all the time. What the hell is he in the AHL? Holy fuck. He's in the AHL right now. He only got... Wow! He only had 57 games played. And he got into 24 fights. <laughs> That means almost every one out of two games he was dropping the gloves. Jesus, man. And then they send you down. Rip. It's the life of the fighter these days, though. Okay. Oh, give me tacos. Dimitrakos. Oh, man, that's a blast from the past name. Sharks had a prospect named Dimitrakos. Nico Dimitrakos. I remember way too much. Anyway, Jordan Nolan, 13 fights. Man, I can't wait till Turkov gets in here. Oh, yeah, that's what I should check. Just just to see if he leads the AHL in fights. Oh, my God. No, we... Keith Hawley, 45 fights. <laughs> There's... She, that's what I meant. Cheese stuff, 25 fights. He's not even close, though. Oh, my God. Keith Hawley. What are you doing? <laughs> 45 fights. They don't fuck around in the AHL. 45 fights in 82 games. That's over half. Over one out of two games he's fighting. Holy crap. <laughs> the AHL does not fuck around. Jesus, man. <laughs> that's freaking awesome. Oh, is that our guy too, House? No, no, no. I don't think that's our guy in this game. No, it is. No, it's not. No, sorry. That's, yeah, Chicago Wolves. No, that's not. Yes, it is. Oh, that is our guy. Yeah, we have some greedy guys down here. We got House. Chistov. Who else we got? Let's just go to our team. See how many... No, I just want to see how they match up against the league. Howes and Chistov, they're fighters. See if I recognize that. Ryan Reeves. <laughs> Rip. Lorcainen? No, no, no. Dale Weiss is down. Oh, man. Poor guys. No, I think yeah, that's mostly it. We got a couple big fighters, though, man. Howes with 17 scraps. And uh, Chistov with 25. <laughs> oh, they fight. This is so hilarious. I love it. I love it. This guy was a sixth round pick. Awesome. Okay, anyway, I just wanted to check that out. That's funny. All right, let's check out uh, rookies and stuff like that. Points. Ooh, less point totals here. Yeah, not not a huge. No rookies with 50 point seasons. Rip. Merrick Spacek? Nope, okay. Um, Dubluitz. He only got a 36 point season. He's on a shit team. That's why. Poor guy. 85 overall now. Okay, um, wait, 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 Noah Rod, really? <laughs> that was his rookie year. Yeah, 34 points, that's not too bad. How the hell did he, how the hell did Noah Rod get 34 points? <laughs> okay, uh, anyway, hey, I love that, I love the name Bear, that's so cool. Okay, um, yeah, let's see if there's any rookie goalies who could take the cake, because those guys weren't looking too impressive, probably Fitzpatrick. No, only 17 games played, who had the most games played? Alan Parsons Project. Um, <sighs> None of them really did good. Enough. I don't know. I, I really don't know who I'd give it to. <laughs> like, he didn't do that good. Uh, the other skaters, like, none of them even got 50 points. Like, what are you doing? Uh, excuse me, Adney on. But I guess I'd give it to Elias Peterson. I guess he's a close, he's, you know, decent season. Who knows? Bit of a weaker year for the rookies. But what can you do? Not every year is going to be fire. All right, so that takes care of just about everything, I think. All right, and in the next video, I should have stayed on that screen because I want to show the playoff tree. Ha ha ha, I'll catch on eventually, but we have the playoffs in the next one taking on the Vancouver Canucks. And that should be a match. We'll see if we can knock them out and get ourselves a better pick that we just got from them. <laughs> That's the goal right there, knock them out so we can get a better pick. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Remember to leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.